Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Generations Legend Class Bombshell. That's right, I said bombshell, not hard shell or whatever shell. It is bombshell. Finally, Hasbro has been able to get the name back for this and bring this character to us in the way that he is always meant to be. Now for the packaging, as you can see, it's got the nice new look with Transformers here on the side. You got the Transformers generation as well as the image of Bombshell here in the background. But it also says that he's part of the Combiner Wars, which is weird because I don't actually think that he is. I know Power Glide can be reused as a gun for Superion and you know, things of that nature. I, I don't know what Bombshell is able to do. But a pretty small packaging. You come around here to the back. You can see that he transforms in eight different steps. And it says Insecticon Master of Mind Control. And that's it. That's all we get for his bio. But uh, packaging wise looks really very nice. I love it. It really does kind of capture a more you know, adult collector kind of look. And I think it works very nicely. But for the packaging, that is about it. So without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right guys, so here we have Bombshell. Open up and out of its packaging. And again, Hasbro has done a terrific job of being able to take a kind of G1 character and update it to look new, but still maintaining that original feel. Now, uh, for comparisons, I mean, just getting it out of the way, here he is and here's the G1 version. And you can see there are some similarities. I do like how they carried over kind of like the bottom of his feet. You can see here in his robot mode, he's got these little red bits right there, the little red stickers and that kind of carries over here with with this figure in the bottom of his feet i mean that's just really terrific attention to detail now i mean they don't have the little sticker here so they have that piece right there but i'm sure repro labels will probably come up with something but i mean a lot of very similar looks it's really very very well done uh his little nose piece here is not as long as this and obviously he has much more insectoid looking legs than the wheels on this but you can see a lot of the inspiration is taken from this original character, and it looks terrific. And I love the fact that now we have a, the Insecticon that we can add to our, well, Scrapnel display. Uh, I mean, this is Shrapnel, everybody knows, but they couldn't call him that, so they got Scrapnel. But they got Bombshell, and one thing that's a little unfortunate is the yellow's not the same. Now, this is a lot darker of a yellow. This one is a lot brighter, but... I don't think it really is all that bad. I think it kind of carries over fairly nicely. Uh, but you can also see that the purple is a little bit darker. You got a lighter purple for uh, Scrapnel here. But all in all, I think it looks pretty good. And obviously, we have Insecticons. And that's the coolest aspect. Now, we just need Kickback. And that'll really complete something that a lot of kind of G1 fans have wanted for a long time, uh, updated Insecticons. Now, for his uh, articulation here in this mode, you can see his little uh, rhinoceros beetle nose can articulate up and down. These little bits right here flex up and down. Now, one thing, I mean, you look at the original one, you had these little bits that stuck out here. You kind of have something similar to this here. A, a rhinoceros beetle really doesn't have a, a thing sticking out from, so it's weird that they would put that, but you can just tuck that in if you want to. Uh, now, some people have looked at this because these really are five millimeter posts. People have said that you can transform him and use him as a gun, and you probably could, but there are no instructions for it, and we haven't seen that at all, and if they wanted to make him one of the like target master sort of things like they did with power glide they probably would have included it in the instructions they're not shying away from that whole thing as evident with power glide so i don't know why they would not include that here if it was something that they intended you to actually have uh, now for the rest of his articulation here in bug mode these little bits here these can swivel uh, and you can get some poses out of this they are individually articulated i mean they just rotate at this upper section right here so there's not a lot that you can do with its Posability, but for example, you can probably get it looking. Let me, let me see if I can get this positioned like that, get that like that. You can angle these down and you can maybe have him uh, like more upright. And then again, you can bring these out and you can have them more flat. So, I mean, it, there is some posing that you can do with it, which is kind of neat. I do appreciate that. The uh, front arms here just swivel in and out like so. It's really not very helpful to the actual posability of them but you can get them in a couple different poses primarily that and and like i said uh 
pointing upward that that's about it so uh, for his bug mode that's about it now for his transformation very simple we're just going to lift this say separate this swivel this out get that out of the way then take these rotate these around you can see these little bits here will become his knees and then you come around here to the back split the legs you can hear a very nice solid pop uh, these things tab in very securely then you rotate these around and in do that as well here kind of push that all the way in then rotate here at the waist like so spread the legs get those positioned you can take these you can then rotate this back if you want to uh, it's personal preference how you want to display your your own figure and then obviously angle this down and then fold that back and there you have bombshell in his robot mode and this guy really does look terrific and again this guy just absolutely nails that look for bombshell i mean everything from his mouth to the way that his little piece here in the back comes around i mean it looks great now people were talking like i said about the gun aspect and that's because when you look here in the front he's got these what look like gun barrels right here and to be totally honest i can't imagine what they would be used for other than something like that so is it possible yeah absolutely i just don't know if they decided to not include that in the instructions or or what but it is something that you could potentially do and like i said you've got these little pieces right down here that could be used as handles i can't show you that because i don't actually know what it's supposed to look like or how to get to it but uh, for comparison here he is and here is his g1 self and again uh, the similarities very very nice uh, actually the purple looks a little bit closer i think yeah, no, that's a little bit different of a tint, but you can see some wonderful similarities here with the design and things like that. And then just to bring in his other buddy, kind of get him back. Now you have what's ironically a smaller robot mode here for uh, Scrap Mold when you compare it to Bombshell. And well, if I can get him to actually stand, uh, which is interesting because if you remember in Insect Mode, he was bigger. So this guy's a little bit smaller, but I, I don't mind that. I think that looks cool. And again, it's a wonderful way of bringing them all together now i honestly think that they did a better job here with the bombshell and the fact that like you can rotate his insect arms back i wish that i could do that with this guy as it is they just kind of stick right out here and it's kind of unfortunate but it's it's really not too bad but here you can see that the purple is a little bit different of a color and again the yellow just comes comes across just so much different looking i don't mind it because it differentiates them but i can see where some people would be a little bit complaint or annoyed by that i, I suppose get these arms all the way forward but I, I just think that bombshell looks terrific now it doesn't come with any uh, extra accessories but then nah, that's perfectly fine now first articulation the head is locked in this position you can't move it around which it would be hard to do anyhow unless they actually made this and this is all like connected so i don't know why they couldn't have made it rotate but uh, it, it's all just one piece so you can't do anything unfortunately but it's really not too bad because he's not going to be able to see past these little things anyhow the shoulders here are on ball joints uh, you can get a perfect full range of motion with those you can even angle them back if you want to it's just part of the transformation the elbows are also on ball joints so nice range of motion there the waist is part of the transformation rotates he's got ball joints here at the hips so you can move those any way you want to rotates here back and forth at the knee and then obviously there's nothing at the feet uh, I do kind of wish that you could tuck these things around a little bit because as it is they kind of stick out and you kind of have to overlap them just to kind of get them to stand there um, or you're constantly having them spread out like that so that that is kind of uh, ugly but I guess I mean you could probably take them and like put them in the back um, I suppose or I mean you could rotate these around any way you want to but I, I it just looks a little bit more streamlined if you keep it like that, I guess. You just can't bring his legs all the way together. But, I mean, really, does that look that bad? I don't think so. Now, to transform it back, we're going to take this, just cover that, angle that back like so, get these arms out of the way, rotate this around, rotate these legs out just like so, and bring these to get while well, you can... Bring them together, and they, like I said, they lock together very securely. Those are not coming apart. It's like there's a mushroom tip here at the actual top of the, the peg that slots in there. It locks it in there beautifully. And then you just bring these in. You can see that uh, this little section right here is where this is going to go. So you just bring that around, locks that into place there. Rotate these arms down. And this, this is probably the trickiest part, getting these to come together and kind of angle these out. These little insect arms can be a little bit fiddly, but that's that's not the hard part, actually. Get that around. Uh, you got to bring these to 
uh, arms together and tab them together. And that can be a, a little tricky to do. Um, just um, you have to bring these arms together and you can see that there's little uh, pins right here, or pegs that you just push those in like so and then you tuck it underneath here and then that's that's about it but that's the hardest part just getting those two things lined up and as you can see there's a lot of other parts that I apparently have problems with as well but then you just fiddle with his little legs getting him where he looks like he's standing pretty good you can do whatever you want with his little but barrels or whatever but there you have the bombshell back in his insect mode and again as a legend scale figure i really do think that this guy is just about perfect insect mode here looks really very good there's nothing really that i can think of to complain about in terms of the overall look for this i do wish maybe the yellow was a little bit lighter just to kind of match with match with scrapnel a little bit easier but it it is not too bad i can live with it transformation is ridiculous simple but gets the job done and honestly has a kind of G1 feel. I mean the way the legs fold up and the arms tuck under that's very G1 including the way that this whole section here covers the head. I mean everything about here is just an updated G1 toy and it works wonderfully and then that robot mode just nails that likeness so great. I absolutely love them and the only thing that's going to stop me from loving this that much more is if we never get a kickback figure in terms of legend scale. So hopefully that's something that they're working on. But as it is, this guy is really very fun. And I cannot recommend this to you guys enough. Now a lot of these new Combiner War figures, including the legend scales, are slowly trickling out right now to retail. So if this is something that you're interested in, good luck, and I hope you find them. But if you can't, there's always Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick this guy up and add him to your collection today. But beyond that, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotomous and by following me over on twitter at twitter.com slash optobotomous also i'd encourage you to check out my new website at optobotomousreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week see what i have coming up for future release and also get your very own optobotomous t-shirt and finally i'd also really appreciate it guys that if you like this review don't forget to please like comment and share this video and until next time i'll talk to you later